think I came out to find out more information about the directive and also to find out about the timelines that are involved and also to understand what the changes to the packaging mean for the regulatory information and I think I've, I've come away with more information than I started with. The speakers were excellent. All four of them were articulate, they were clear and concise uh, and it was very informative. I've learned something, yeah. Very good. We looked at uh, Grant representing FPA, presenting the uh, European stakeholder model. Mark, I know, does a lot of work you know, with Blue Sphere looking at, at continuous improvement. And then obviously Ian Haynes, uh, AstraZeneca have been on the serialisation journey for, for eight years. You know, they were the first adopter and the most wide scale adopter. So it was important to him, perhaps to him come along to share his experiences. And then obviously Roger, you know, GS1, fantastic source of, of support and information that's available. Um, so again, it's important to, to sort of, once we frighten people, to sort of say, but it's okay, there are people out there who can help you. So again, that's why we put together the sort of portfolio of speakers we did. What is always the best uh, coming out of that uh, event is an update of the legislation. And for sure, have nice discussions with uh, group members, with other suppliers, with Domino as well, about the current state of uh, the customers as well. Absolutely, it's been a fantastic experience and big learning. Uh, already the first couple of hours uh, has been very useful and very good for us. We've been working in this area for, what, three, four, five years. So as we've watched the evolution of the process and uh, of, uh, of the, uh, the adoption and the processes that the, uh, the bigger companies are following, now is a critical time because now is the time people are making decisions. And we feel that there's still a lot of knowledge uh, to be passed to people. We feel that we've learned a bit. We feel that others in the room that have been at this event know a lot. And the combination of all of that hopefully builds so that people make the right decisions for 2014-15 or whenever it might be.